Welcome along to Barbecue Life UK, the only YouTube channel dedicated to the Audi Camaro. Today we're talking Camaros in general and we're doing five common mistakes that most people make when Camaro cooking. So let's jump straight in with tip number one. So this is not making sure that your thermometer is calibrated. So this happens when you have a brand new Camaro and they can also go out of whack over time. So I like to check mine about every six months. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this and a couple of different temperatures you can actually set this to. So you could have set it to a dome temperature or you can set it to a grill level temperature. So if you wanted to go for a grill level temperature, then you need a probe set at grill level so you can monitor what the temperature is there. And then you can then adjust the, uh, the dial on your thermometer in your dome to read the same temperature as what your grill level is. That's how you would set that. And then the other way is that you set it for your dome temperature, because these can vary a, a, fair, a fair bit. So to set it to your dome temperature, then the best way to do it is to just stick that thermometer in some boiling water. So you know that that's sitting at 100 degrees and then set that to 100 degrees just so that you know what your ambient temperature is in the top of your dome. Interaction is massively important to a new YouTube channel. So if you could just take the time to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment during this video, it would be very much appreciated. So my second tip is putting your food on in the wrong type of smoke. So people that are new to barbecuing, you're not really gonna understand what a wrong smoke is, so I'm gonna explain that. So when you first put smoking wood in, you get a very heavy white smoke. So this is, the, the wood warming up, it's the moisture coming out of it, and any chemicals that are in that wood, natural chemicals, are gonna be burning away. So some of these aren't great tasting, so you need to let the wood burn through this first stage until you get a clearer smoke. So it's almost clear with sort of a bluey tinge. Now, this can take five, 10 minutes. The more you bury your uh, wood the quicker it will be because it's going to have more heat around it the earlier you put it in the quicker it's going to be ready to cook on I tend to put my wood in a bit um, after I've got my temperature up and then I then burn it off and I just make sure it gives me another five ten minutes to make sure that that temperature is stable exactly where I want it to be also when you first put your wood in it can increase your temperature while it's in that combustion stage rather than a nice clean smoke stage another type of smoke you can get is grease smoke so this is also white and this again doesn't make your food taste great and give you quite a bitter taste so if you've been doing a lot of low and slow cooking or cooks with high fat content like burgers and things like this the fat can drip off and into the ceramic of the barbecue and it doesn't always burn away during the cook that you are actually doing. So when you light the Kamado next time, and you start to increase your temperatures, and this does tend to happen more an increased temperature rather than a low and slow, any oils and grease that have been absorbed by that ceramic want to burn out. And this gives you a really heavy, white, bitter smoke. So you need to let that burn out before you put your food in. Now. Some depending on what you've been cooking and how many low and slows you've done and how much grease has gone in there completely depends on how long this can take. It might take five minutes, it might take half an hour, but I strongly recommend that you do not put your food in while you've got a white smoke because it's not going to give you a nice smoked flavour. It's not going to help you improve your barbecue and it's going to put other people off from eating your barbecue because it's a very strong acrid taste so people are going to be thinking well wow, he's really over smoked that and it's not that you've necessarily over smoked that it's just that you're putting your meat in during the wrong type of smoke let it clear down go to a nice blue or almost clear and that is an ideal flavoring for your meat so the next mistake is also putting your food on too early but for a different reason so this is not letting the ceramic itself warm up so you can get false readings from your dial in the dome especially if you've put your heat deflector in early because that heat comes hits the heat deflector comes out rolls round up the dome 
and the thermometer being metal is a great conductor more than what the ceramic is that takes longer so the metal tip heats up quickly and it goes you go oh well right okay i'm up to 110 degrees c i'm ready to cook what you need to do at that point is put your hand bare hand onto the ceramic if it's not warm then the ceramics haven't absorbed the heat yet which means you're going to open it up you're going to put your meat in that meat is going to absorb temperature and you're going to see your temperature needle dropping down the first thing you're going to do then is go oh, i haven't got my vents set right i'm going to open my vents you open your vents all the oxygen is going to rush in there while your ceramics still heating so your charcoal is going to be burning away you're not necessarily going to be cooking your meat much because the ceramic is going to be pulling all of that heat in there once the ceramic's up to temperature and then that is then radiating the heat back in your temperature dial is going to go through the roof and you're going to have majorly overshot your temperature then you're going to be shutting your vents down and trying to get it cooled down panicking because you're like amount of degrees over what you want to be and you're going to spend the rest of your cook yo-yoing going now it's too cool now it's too hot now it's too cool now it's too hot so leave that kamado time to warm up put your hand on there see whether that ceramics got warm sometimes these can take 40 minutes to get up to a stable temperature but you know that once it's there that's where it's going to sit so do not put your meat on too early and end up in a yo-yoing situation because it's just going to stress you out and it's not going to give you your desired um, end result on whatever you are cooking so the next tip is rushing your cook so this again ties in with this tip before where you're going to get your meat on too early so make sure that you're not rushing what you're doing give yourself time to cook make yourself a checklist so that you know what temperature you want to be aiming for rather than thinking oh i'm going to cook this like the kamado and then be going oh what temperature do i need to be cooking pulled pork what temperature do i need to be cooking brisket how do i cook a pulled pork hot hot and fast plan everything make yourself a checklist tick it off as you go so vent settings charcoal temperature um, how long you think your cook's going to take allow extra time on the end of it how long you're going to rest your meat for if you're doing something like pulled pork i in my last video i rested for half an hour and i had a load of messages messaging back saying you need to be resting for two hours sometimes i do rest for two hours sometimes i rest for half an hour if it's hot and fast i tend to find that i can pull it earlier than a low and slow but you need a checklist so that you can check off what you're doing so you don't miss a step and then you end up with the um an undesirable product at the end and it just gives you a nice guide all the way through another thing to do is to make notes on your cook so i've already done a video on this and i'll leave an icard up in the top corner and a link in the description below on making notes on your cooks because this is then going to help you with your checklist next time you cook that item because you're going to look at your notes and go okay i wasn't happy with this and this so what do i want to do differently next time so we're on to our fifth and final tip and this is go easy on yourself so whether you are new to cooking on a barbecue whether you are new to cooking on a kamado or whether you are a seasoned barbecuer we tend to put a lot of stress on ourselves just try and take the stress out give give yourself time like i've said before and just chill out at the end of the day it's only barbecue it is not life and death if something goes wrong you learn from it in my opinion there is no such thing as a bad cook it's just experience so that you know what to do next time we all start off we all make mistakes i've done cooks before and my desired end result was nothing like it's going right like i wanted it to be I've done cooks for the channel before where I've got to the end and it's nothing like I wanted it to be. A prime example of that is my chicken tikka video that is probably 18 months old now and the end result wasn't great at all. It was okay but it wasn't anywhere where I wanted it to be. Everybody can make mistakes. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Leave yourself time 
if you follow all these steps that we've discussed today it's going to make life easier for you especially having that checklist and making uh, notes on your previous cooks to help you for your future ones so if you like what we're doing here at barbecue life uk then please do subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video and leave me a comment underneath and thank you very much for watching please check out my other ak cooks over here and subscribe over here cheers